All right, I do have to admit this is pretty creepy. All right, we know why you clicked on this video. You want to see the Bong Chapel, right? But before we show you that, we want to show you around Evra. Today we are joined with Bruno, our light man. <laughs> Where are we, Christiana? We are in Evra. This is Temple de Diana. It's a Roman temple, and it was built around 2,000 years ago, more or less. And this is the closest city to us, to our villages. And this is where we study all together, all the three of us. Yeah. Here. Yeah, we studied in this city. In back in 2008. So, yeah. long time ago. back, long time ago. <laughs> so the Roman temple is also known as the Anna Temple. It was dedicated to Bruno's sister. Because <laughs> her name is Diana. <laughs> How old is she? Uh, 13. 13. And she's already got a temple dedicated to her, huh? How important is she? She's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this. What's going on? What hurt? Obrigado. Portas abertas, podem visitar o que quiserem. Um dia que vai ser uma, uma bela festa, com certeza. Muito obrigado. <risos> nem, nem o tempo de Dom Afonso e Ritos, este pátio teve tão animado. É verdade, é verdade. Obrigado. 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 Oh, what a nice welcome, you know? Evra, that's Evra for you. We're about to visit the São Miguel Palace here in Evra. And I'm very curious because I've never been inside, so let's have a look. We just saw that man early on. We just met him moments earlier, didn't we? We did. This looks like a very fancy dining table. And look at the ceilings, it was all painted by hand. So it's much detail. 19th century, the lady at the entrance was. Explaining it, explaining it to us. So this palace is from the 19th century. Yes. Look at this. This is the kitchen. Whoa. This is all brass. This is the old stove, wooden stove that they used to cook back then. Oh, so this fits what a very fancy house in times of like the kings would look like. And we are actually inside, this is not the type of where you only go and see inside of, of like a tiny corridor. Here you can actually go inside of the rooms. We've got the sparrow staircase. We got pool table. Fancy. What were your thoughts on the palace, Christina? My thoughts on the palace? Uh, I would like to leave there. <laughs> Nicely decorated, nice well spaces, preserved. well preserved. All the paintings in the ceiling were very, very nice. All done by hand. The furniture was also in very good condition. Um, yeah, I just need the money now to <laughs> support myself living there. Me and Bruno will probably stay in the games room, just playing pool all day <laughs> and drinking some wine or whatever. As this was a medieval town, all these streets are very narrow because the city was only inside of the city walls yeah and now we are inside of the city halls yeah. the city has now extended way outside of the city halls but where everything happens is within this um, central area yeah. these are absolutely gorgeous little streets yeah. rustic that's <laughs> me <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Fish. There you go, we have a little friend. 
for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> what are you having, mate? Huh? Cappuccino? I'm going to have a glass of uh, goat's milk. Breakfast is served. We've got pastel de nata and the espresso for myself. Cristiano went for a galon. And the pastel de nata, the most typical pastry from Portugal. Pastry from Portugal. And Bruno has already had a little bite on his one. And they're having uh, orange juice with mango. Mango, orange. mango and orange juice. <laughs> <laughs> Crunchy. You want some? <laughs> <laughs> so this is like milk with a bit of coffee. It's a latte. Yeah. Portuguese latte. Okay, that's not the correct way of eating a pasta but... I don't care. You can get offended. Sue me. <laughs> <laughs> this is how you do it. Wow. Mm. Safety. Shall we see? Yeah. Let's have a look. Carriage collection. So we came across the carriage museum here in Edinburgh and it's completely free. So there's a few samples of uh, carriages that we can look around. This seems like fancy. It is, look inside. Oh. Gloves, hat. I think this is, uh, seem more like modern, maybe like in the early 1900s, this carriage. Fancy. Magician hat. Magician hat and a magician. Um, walk stick? Yes. I think it's a walk stick, yeah. And some luggage. The luggage that they would carry their clothes. Picnic set. Look at that. And the racket. This is called Praça do Giraldo. It's the historical center part of the city. This is where everybody comes, have a coffee, meet up. It's lively. Busy. Yeah. Busy, busy. We want to show you something typical from Portugal, especially from our region, the handcrafts. This is all made uh, and painted by hands and made by clay or from clay. There's a lot of these shops around the city mm -hmm. of Evra. Oh, this is this what... Is the olives. Yeah, the olives and this is to grill the chorizo, which we did a video with my nan. Long time ago. Yeah, a few months back. And mostly the other ones are like decorate, to decorate the walls, like this one, plates to decorate the walls. This one is to put the wooden spoon when you're cooking to rest. And you got little cups here to drink some wine. Or whatever, <laughs> whatever you fancy. Nice. You've got the typical couple of Valentines of our region. And this is how they used to dress back then. Now, back then, and modern day time. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got comparison right here. <laughs> now time to explore Everest public gardens. What's fascinating about this one is there's peacocks roaming around. And it's a massive garden and they roam freely around here. No worries in the world and they're not afraid of humans because they're used to us.
before we jump into the Bond Chapel, we want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online community for curious and creative people, just like you and us. It doesn't matter if you are a beginner or pro, here you always find classes to fit your needs. The classes range from videography, photography, lifestyle, graphic design and so much more. We really like Skillshare because we can take the classes and we can learn at our own time. For example, we found this class by Dan Mace to be very helpful. As we mentioned before, there are classes for all kinds of interests. And today we have something really cool that we want to share with you. We have the link on the description down below and the first 1000 people to click on it will have access to one month free trial with Skillshare. Uh, instead of the 14 day trial that they normally offer so you can start exploring your creativity today Are you guys ready for the Bong Chapel? Now we can already see some creepy message on the top here it says Nós ossos que aqui estamos pelos vossos esperamos And if we translate that it means we bones that are here are waiting for your bones Creepy right? It's a bit creepy all right, guys, shall we go in? Let's go. So the story behind this creepy chapel goes back to the medieval times. Back then, uh, there was around 40 cemeteries here in the city and the priests at the time thought that it was a good idea to dig up all the cemeteries because they needed the land and build this chapel. They wanted to pass a message to remind people that it doesn't matter how rich or how poor you are, you, everybody's gonna die, so everybody's equal. Are they mummified? Yeah, this is like the most creepy part. We have um, adult and like a child mummified. So creepy. Weird times. There's about 5,000 skeletons here in this chapel. Inside the chapel we also have the very famous Portuguese tiles here. And this is like church related tiles. We've got this style and then we've got different style here. I think this is older, much older. But yeah, something typical from Portugal. Typical from Portugal. Tiles. Like we mentioned before, the city center of Evora sits inside of the city hall. And right here, it's one of the entrances to the city center. left Evora and outside of Evora there is a megalith complex and it's about 6,000 years old. The purpose of having this is still open to discussion uh, because the dolmens, the ones that are like little houses, are for funeral purposes but these ones are not, people are not sure of the purpose. They just know that it's something to do with the sun and the moon and the shades but they're not sure of what it is but it's very important it's very famous there's a lot of people visiting this and it's not too far from where we live so we decided that today we would come here and take a look for ourselves and that's another history lesson with christiana <laughs> So just for your information, this is an unpaved road to get to the Cromlex and it's pretty bumpy so it's going to be a bumpy ride back home 
And this concludes this concludes our visit of Evra and the Cromlex. We really enjoyed. Hope you guys do. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And, and we shall, shall see you on the next one. Peace. A few moments later.